I've mentioned it many times on my channel how much I love a good stylized robot. Throw in the fact that I love robots that turn into motorcycles, and this figure ticks all those boxes. I don't remember how I came across Good Smile Company's Cyclion type lavender, but when I saw it, I knew it was one that I really wanted to try out. So when I saw it pop up on the Chosen Prime, I ordered it straight away. I'll be honest. I knew nothing of the origins of this character or the design, so when I asked Uncle Google, all I could come up with it was designed by a company called Basil no Zokue. I know I'm butchering the Japanese language, bear with me. Designed by an artist named Shomaru. Again, Japanese language, not my forte. But it was part of a four-person team, kind of in the vein of Power Rangers. You had a purple, a blue, a pink, and a red, I believe, were the four teams. So it wouldn't surprise me if we saw recolors of this uh, coming down the line. That's about all I knew about it, other than the fact that she looked really cool and turned into a motorcycle. So, again, ticked all my boxes. Let's roll the intro, get started looking at Good Smile Company Cyclion Type Lavender on Kato's Collection. It's Kato! Like always, the first thing I want to do is take a look at the box. And the box art is beautiful. It's the product shot images that we got uh, to entice us to get the figure at all. But it is beautiful artwork. Uh, Cyclion type lavender from the Good Smile Company. Again, I've never bought anything from them. I know they exist. Love this Tron-like artwork on the side. And on the back, you get a few of her poses, humanoid mode, a new transforming experience. You can see some shots of the weapons in the alt mode. Very cool, well done. On the back here, or it's not really the bottom, on the side you get all of the stuff that we ignore. On the top, alt mode, and on the bottom, alt mode again. Inside the box, you get the instructions, which are very simple, just one fold out sheet for everything you need. And it does the job pretty well. There's one section of the arms that uh, you just kind of have to wing, but I'll go through that when I do transformation. You also get two sets of these hands, a left and right, painted very well. I do not believe that is colored plastic. And it's kind of a feminine pointing pose or maybe a rocking hand, you know, kind of throw the horns. And I like it very much. I prefer this over posable hands. So you can just pop those right off and put the new one on. And you get two sets of weapon holding hands for the swords that she has. Now installed on the bot right out of the box are two closed fists. You also get two swords. Now they're painted really well, gray and purple. And there's a hinge here because the sword actually becomes the handlebars. And there's two sets of pegs, one purple peg there and a peg here on the handle. And I'll show why. There's plenty of places to mount this on the bot. Very cool. It serves a purpose well. You definitely need to put these on in bike mode in order to make it look complete. Otherwise, the arms kind of stand out, but I'll go over that shortly. Now, I haven't had much problem making her stand, but because she has those stiletto heels, it can be a bit cumbersome. So it's cool that they include a figure stand, which I will probably use throughout the review. So you will see it installed. Changing out the hands is very easy. Just pop them off the peg and then pop the new one on. Uh, if you can get it to line up right, you know how these go. But just slide it right on the peg there. Uh, that works really well. And let's see, let's get the weapon holding hand in here. Um, be careful pushing this on because you're gonna find yourself pushing on the fingers. They are softer plastic, so you may not have a problem. And the sword, uh, because of that softer plastic can just slide right inside here. Another thing to note is all of these small ports on her upper arm, lower arm, even on the heel there if you want to do some crazy posing with it. You can see it there. And on the side here, the swords can store pretty much any one of those holes that you like. Now you can see the figure stand is not a circle there in the tab and that is because her heels 
are not a circle either. So they just can only go in one way on either foot. And while not necessarily an accessory, and you don't have to remove it for transformation, but this backpack here, you can unplug. And if you wanted to put it on an arm as a shield, you certainly could do that. Now the fun part, let's look at the figure itself. And I'll tell you right away in the box, as soon as I open up the packaging, and I'll throw a shot up here of what she looks like in the packaging as soon as you open the box, packaged very well. You notice that it is a very striking figure. The purple is bright. The gray is very metallic. The face, very robotic. Awesome looking figure. Immediately struck my eye and started to really like it right away. Then I picked it up and it is very weighty. There's a good bit of die cast in here. The uh, chest and back here is die cast. The lower legs are all die cast. The arms, I think that's plastic here, but a nice weight to the figure overall. As we take a look at the head sculpt, you can see that face and this is the only face that comes with it, but I think it's perfect. It's super robotic, very feminine. I love the hair and the shape of the helmet there. Translucent plastic there on the top. Blue eyes, really nice purple paint. And you can see the articulation uh, up and down, some side to side, obviously a ball joint there. Nothing really at the neck, but that's okay. Oh man, she looks really cool. Going down to the chest area, you can see that very cool translucent plastic with cyclion written there. You can open the chest and reveal some of the metallic workings or the workings in there. I love that. Very cool touch for no real reason other than just to be there. Nice purple and pink paint going down the chest and down to the crotch area, the pink there. Such a cool design. Going down the arms. Uh, speaking of the arms, you can do a full 360. They will go up all the way on that kind of a disc joint there. You can rotate at the bicep or the elbow. And interestingly enough, you can unplug the arms and you may or may not choose to do that when you go into bike mode. Uh, on the elbow, a nice deep elbow bend. The wrist uh, up and down there like a uh, you know, like a dice roll motion and the peg is built in, then you get some rotation, of course, because that is just pegged on. One disappointing thing is there is no waist articulation. Uh, that's kind of a bummer, but because of how it transforms, I kind of get it. And it doesn't really hinder how much I enjoy the figure. So, but I get it. Photographers would hate that. The backpack here, of course, can fold up and down that's more for transformation and you got the wheel here on the back of the leg going down to the legs you've got that pink translucent plastic with the purple paint the legs will go up about that far so about straight out a little loose in the leg but that's mainly because this calf and shin are very heavy kick up straight kick back pretty far and a decent amount of knee bend and you can get that wheel out of the way but that's about how far she'll go about 90 degrees there uh, rotation at the thigh i don't think it has it but there is a hinge in here so you can see that hinging in and out right there and no rotation at the calf also no ankle tilt because of the design but you do get some toe tilt so limited in the articulation but I think they didn't want to sacrifice the sculpt because this thing is a beauty. On the back, you've got this skirt piece here that will become the rear fender with more translucent pink in there and the booty sculpted pretty well. So, I mean, that nice pink translucent coming down the leg, more translucent pink on the toes and the heel that actually becomes the footrest, the foot pegs of the motorcycle. For a quick size comparison, there she is with Masterpiece Sideswipe, really just to show that she's Masterpiece scale. And I think that's Earthrise RC? Yeah, we'll go with Earthrise RC. 
Now to get her transformed, it's fairly simple. The first thing you want to do is take just this helmet piece right here and rotate that up so that it looks like that. You're going to take this chest piece, open that up. Now bring up this piece, rotate it down, and you'll actually pull on it to make it a little longer. Take the arms out of the way. Now this entire upper piece where the head is has a hinge inside here and you're basically going to collapse the head into the belly and the way to do that is just to rotate the head around until it sits flush like that now you will peg make sure that's down all the way so you're not scraping anything and then you will peg the chest piece back up into the top of the head the arms, you'll keep those out of the way for now. We'll talk about that in a bit. Now in the instructions, it tells you you can go ahead and put the sword on. I save that to last just to get one more thing out of the way. Next up, come down to the legs. There's a calf piece right here, a thigh piece actually, I'm sorry. You're gonna open up on either one and reveal the upper thigh as the shocks of the robot. So just open that up and rotate the thigh all the way around on both of those and you'll see these two hooks on either side that's going to be where this die cast piece here goes into to become what will be the rear shocks next up you're going to close that thigh back up and bring it down straight we'll get that thigh out of the way close it up bring it straight and you're going to bring it all the way straight and this is where it may take a little bit of maneuvering just to get everything lined up right but the wheel here from the back of the thigh will tab together the instructions say there's a magnet in there i don't feel that at all but you can see what's happening right there you're just making that wheel from here you can bring the leg all the way back there is one more step and i need to warn you because it's very tight the heel actually rotates to the side but it is very tight uh, better than being loose but just a little scary and then just sit that back and you'll see that becomes the rear pegs and bring the toe all the way down same on this side bring it all the way back bring the this heel out straighten that toe and just tuck that back then this rear piece just bring that down becomes the rear fender now the arms the arms are what's a little weird they don't really hide them. So there's a couple of things you can do. I'm not really sure what the instructions tell you to do, but for me, you can either bring all this back and like that. That's kind of the way I like to do it if I keep the arms on just to tuck those in. And the reason is you take the, let me get the other one. You take the sword and then plug that in onto what was the upper arm like that and then bring that out to make the handlebar so that hides the arm pretty well the other option you have if you'd like remove the arm like that and put that back on Completely up to you. I don't know if I'm going to keep this in bot mode or motorcycle mode, but if I keep it in motorcycle mode, I'm likely just to keep the arm off and do it that way. Uh, same thing on the other side. Just plug in the sword to the side there. And there you go. A little bit of cleanup and she'll be complete. And there you have Cyclion Type Lavender in her bot mode. And it's a beautiful, beautiful motorcycle. If you squint just right, of course, you can see the legs of the robot. That's fine. That doesn't bother me one bit. The butt back there that makes the seat looks really, really good. And since this right here is on that peg, of course, it'll rotate any way you want. It'll actually even rotate this way, not that you really need it to. Uh, no real need for articulation, but she looks amazing. I think the only thing I wish it had was some detail here for an instrument panel. But overall, I mean, there's nothing new here to see outside of what was in bot mode, except for the die cast shocks here for the rear. 
I guess the thighs become the big exhaust. Rolls just fine. It rolls within this plastic piece. So just right there rolls. And I mean, it doesn't roll on this very well, but the wheels are free to move. Very cool. I like this a lot. For a quick size comparison, she actually looks like she may fit three and three quarter inch figures. Uh, this is one of the Retro Joes that came with, I think this is crankcase from the Retro Joe line that came out. And he would fit, if he was a little better articulated, he actually would fit on the bike. There she is alongside Masterpiece Red Alert and Siege Red Alert, just to show you a bit of scale. Definitely fits more into the Masterpiece line. So overall, I think I am pleasantly, I don't want to say surprised because I didn't really know what to expect, but I am happy. She looks amazing. The color, the paint, the quality, the die cast, everything is spot on. And I think she is a great Fembot motorcycle. Again, ticked all the boxes of things that I like, stylized bot wise. The accessories, fine. Uh, the swords look really good. The extra hands are great, much better than having to deal with articulated fingers. The sword holding hands, because of that soft rubber, they do tend to get a little wobbly. She doesn't really hold that very tightly, and that's kind of a disappointment. Uh, articulation, eh, hit or miss, it's okay. Uh, no waist rotation very little uh, leg articulation as far as no ankle tilt, no real thigh rotation, a small pivot there. So it's, it's okay, but it serves the purpose of anything that I would want to use to have her up on the shelf. So for me, it's fine. I want to say thanks to uh, the Chosen Prime for their speedy delivery. Speaking of being grateful. Thank you guys so much for getting me really close to that 3000 subscriber mark and a huge thank you to my channel members for taking that extra step to joining the channel. I'll throw up those guys here on the screen so they get the recognition they deserve. Guys, be sure to subscribe to the other Rejected Cons at Sardinus by 82, Larkin's Lair, and Inu Tabi. Till next time, this is Kato signing out. See you around like a donut. It's Kato!